But Gammon is a metaphor. You have two armies, 15 soldiers each, all equals, confronting in a battlefield, running home. But life is not like that. We are not all equals. Some have difficulties and some abilities. So there is ABAC, the Backgammon evolution that addressed that fact. Let me show you. This is the traditional Backgammon board. Let's make a simple change. We have the same gameplay as before, with just three slight changes. One, you need to move the highest checker of each column first. Two, each column can only stack five checkers. Three, you have these guys. You have the general. This guy can go backwards, aiding, making time, escaping. You have the druid, a tricky one that you should fear. Instead of capture, it traps, immobilizing its enemy. You have the guards, two of them. They are more powerful than the rest. Cannot be captured so easily, but of course, they have some weaknesses. And you have two wounded you have to bring home. They cannot move freely and are easily blocked. Take care of them both, because they are trouble. Are you interested? Check them out. The General. It is represented by those arrows to show you it can go back and forth. Let's see it in action. Black moves. Rows 4 and 3. See? Going backwards. Or what about this? In this scenario, the general cannot move until the other checker does. So, this is better. The limitation. During the turn, if it goes back, it cannot move more. And if it goes forward, it cannot move back. In other words, on each turn, only one direction and only one move backwards. The Druid. A lethal weapon. It traps the enemy and holds it while it's over it. His power is not easy to use, but with knowledge, it's a fate changer. White's turn. Roll 6, 3, and place. Black turns. Roll 6 and 5. Great here will trap instead of capture but it is still vulnerable and can be captured by the enemy. You should provide a companion to help this strong. That checker cannot move while the druid is above it. Of course, there are some limitations to use this power. It can only do it on middle camp. On any hub, it behaves as a regular checker. The wounded. One of each, so far away from home. One, only move dice with odd numbers, as of one, three, and five. The other, place only even ones, two, four, and six. White's turn, draws four and two, and moves. The general, playing as a regular checker, goes forward. Black's turn, draws four and one. This checker can move one and not four. This is the odd one. This one, only moves even, so it can move four, but not one. You may call it the even wounded. Let's move one with the odd wounded and four with the even wounded. Now I have just made a mistake because the odd wounded can no longer move one, three, or five. So it is fully blocked. See the beauty? This disability is not present while playing from a captured position or to safety. In this case, the even wounded, the one captured, can play any number of the dice. The odd wounded cannot play two, but it can play four and six, because it lands on the safe position. Finally, the guards. You have two of them. Their brute power makes them stronger than the rest. 
it takes two checkers to defeat them. White's turn rolls five and one. And now black rolls two and four. The even wounded can use both dice to move, being both even numbers, but cannot move four because the guard is there. But both checkers can move together, one after the other to capture the guard, like this. I think these rules make the game a superb one, more challenging to play and richer in techniques and combinations. If you want to play, go to avac.me and enjoy a free game. My name is Sami Garib, I am a Chilean software engineer and my goal is to spread the rules of this game that I invented many years ago and I long it to be well known and played. I have code the game to be played on a web browser and mobile phones, and I have made a rudimentary EA to play against. I hope it will be a good match. If you like the game, just play and have fun, and help me spread it. If you love it and want to find out how to help me improve it and maintain it, just go to avac.me slash how to help. If you like to play Kavak in your physical backgammon board, there are some stickers you can print and other resources here. Now, go play.